902 right now and my mother just called me and said there's a tornado and lands down heading towards us i was like all right i gotta hurry up and get it done and she's like are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been on the hub in a minute so like oh, sh oh sh tornado warning take shelter now what in the hell Seven sixty-nine. What did I tell you? you Say cold pool probably like seven seven. Seven sixty-nine is a good. I thought it was gonna make seven eighty. I thought it was, but it's I pulled there. it to like sixty-six too. So I tried. We got a, we got a whole staff of new tunas now. <laughs> they got seven seventy on street tire. That's like me trying to run a forty-yard dash in these Crocs. Um, Dude, the big dog ain't even here. All right, we don't even need him anymore. Oh, I can. Good job, folks. I love the billet. You know what I call that. That's gotta be over 100 horsepower he picked up, because I think before he saved me like 660 or something like that. Yeah, and he just did what, the road five and that? And lower, yeah. That's it. So look, a lot of times we always rag on people for doing bad holes and stuff. But well, we're gonna show a good hole here. Good job, Ron. Ron, he got all right. Nice right. and round, not too, no sharp jagged. He followed jagged. this line. Yep. Yeah. Yo, look at him. He followed the direction. Man, Ron, come on over here and get you, get you an application <laughs> put in. Come on over here and get your application put in. Yeah, 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 baby. Well, good morning. Finally got the gray car back. I'm assuming we're going to get it ready to go. I want to show you guys some stuff. I'm sure most of y'all remember our trials and tribulations. Going right back with the old old reliable guys over at Frankenstein got us right so uh, I got some stuff planned for today. I'm gonna do a C7 trunk tank. Got my man Jal. What are you doing here so early? Up. What am I doing here so early? Oh yeah. Lord. <laughs> well, I'm the first one today. Thankfully Kyle's here so I can get this thing out of my way. Today I'm gonna be doing a C7 trunk tank finally. I know a lot of y'all been asking. I'm gonna try to record some of it. Not super tricky but I'm gonna try to do what I can to make it easier for y'all. But uh, I'll kinda, I really wanna show y'all kinda like the process of, my man Kyle gonna help me get all these cars moved out the way, and we gonna get to it. What's up with this thing, man? I, I We got a race this weekend. Oh, oh. Well, good morning, everybody. That's that's what's up. Because yep. I didn't, you know what I mean? I was telling you. I didn't even have my coffee yet. Cars gotta be done by Thursday. Done by Thursday. What is today? Wednesday. So, <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I'm about yeah. to drill these bulkheads. And I plan on making a bracket so they can drill it from the inside, make it a little bit easier. But I'll show y'all how I'm doing. Got the bulkheads in. That's what we're looking at, folks. Nice and tucked. Hidden. Barely sneaking out of there. But uh yeah, Thomas back on this tank. Fuzz running the lines through the fender. So yeah. We're gonna get uh get some lines ran to these. The drain's probably gonna come out right on the bottom of that tub. I don't know, right in this corner. You see my finger. So, all right. So I never really show this side of stuff to you guys because I'm the cameraman. So usually uh I'm doing when I do my work, I'm not recording. Just want to take a second for anybody that cares. I'm gonna fire this thing up, cut this box out, get it in the trunk. Need some grease on this thing. <sighs> I know. Should be getting worked. Should Work. be getting worked. Yeah, just kind of showing them what the Fusion 360 is. Yeah, nobody, nobody really know about that. Only you know about this. Yeah. So look, this is this is. I mean, this is how everything starts, y'all, from scratch. The plasma software. Here's where I have all different stuff I made. The catch can guts. The catch can that I just did for the same car.
packed in. This is kind of, this will give you all an idea how it's going to go. Pump hangs off the bottom. Direct union to the tank, which I like because it just eliminates any issues with bleeding the pump, getting the air out of the pump. It's the best way to do it. The return is going to sit off the side of the tank, something like that. And then it'll sneak down through that gap and hook up to the tank. So in reality, this will sit over a little bit more. We're going to get this sealed up. And uh, yeah, get the rest of the way. Put some mounts on it. We're pretty close. C7 trunk tank made. It's not in here because everything's headed to powder coat. But I'll show you guys everything once we get it back. But I just wanted to show you something small, like, you know, really just to show y'all the little things that we do to try to make everything better and just make the whole process better when we do things. So I have this little template right here. I'm gonna cut this out of 090 aluminum, but I'm gonna show you guys the purpose. So, you see how you have the bulkheads? It's really a pain to get up under the car. I mean, it's possible because I drilled them from under the car, but it'd be a lot nicer if you can drill them from in here because you have room in this tub to get a smaller drill in. So, my theory on getting these holes to line up properly is we're gonna send this piece with the kits. And you can see how I notched notched it for this tab right here this little tab so that before you even have the bulkheads in you can lay this in mark your holes and drill them and then they're located perfectly but also then you can leave this piece this will be aluminum you could still leave it in there and use it as almost a washer so that your lock nuts on the bulkhead aren't going to crack your fiberglass so I'm going to cut that piece out, I'm going to turn it into a piece of aluminum and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. But then, even after that, you can see Fuzz has a grommet in there for the drain. But even after all that, we still are going to cut this and have everything hidden under there. So it should turn out pretty clean. Um, but yeah, this isn't for the week. This is not an install for the it's week. motherfucker. Okay, so you know, this is a $80,000, $90,000 car especially at this level um yeah you know it's really uh worth <clears throat> having my guy here Wait, you know. get it right because you know what he's doing so but yeah turned out sick it'll be really fucking nice when it's done yeah when the front when yeah. we get everything on the front have yeah. you shared any of them no yeah. i haven't but uh but we did do a different style heat exchanger so he's got uh a new heat exchanger in here it's one of ours but it's not. Most of you guys probably know these heat exchangers come with four ports on them. That one's got two. And uh, it has two ports. We simplified it. We think it's going to solve some problems. Yep. It's so, a little uh, colder. Yeah, this thing ran hot <clears throat> before. And uh, we couldn't really get it to cool down. Even if we put ice right. in the tank that it yeah. had, it just would kind of melt immediately. He yeah. wouldn't even really be able to make it up to the lanes before the ice was going. So, he... Uh, is due for more honestly let's be real here front tanks are really good for like 
you know, bolt-ons. 2650 shit. Once you, you start making a thousand, man, like you really do need a trunk tank yeah. and pretty much mm. any car, man. Like that's just kind of how it goes. It just, it creates heat. It creates yeah. too much heat. And these do run a little bit hotter than the ZL1. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? That's not that it's uncommon. It would probably you know? run a little colder with a stock blower. Yeah. But, I mean. but uh, yeah, this is, this will be a C7 this, trunk tank kit probably. This is a fully decked out. C7 yeah. Tip. This is fully decked. Fully decked out. I just finished up putting in the plate to sandwich bulkheads on. So that little notch right there, you'll be able to set this around that to line these up. And then you can mark your holes and drill from the inside, which should make things a lot easier. Holes cut for everything to come through the carpet. And we'll set that back in there. So finally, my man is dumping some oil in here. Yeah. It's, it's been good. a long time coming. We've literally just been waiting on these valve covers to get powder coated. Bad timing. It's yeah. all good. They're but, on. Uh, yeah, I had mocked literally everything up. Like I had taken another set of valve covers. Yeah. Mocked up all the lines with the blower on it. So literally just had to throw the valve covers on and everything should be yeah. good. So. Yeah, so now he's going to finish everything up, button everything up. I'm sure uh, not too much longer. He's gonna have that 2650 side on there. Yep. So. Yeah, but you can tell he already made all his lines. He's just been waiting on these things, which they turned out pretty sick, I must say. Yeah. Looks like they match pretty good. It's not always easy to match this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So Put a startup so, tune in it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully get tuned this week, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we got Burgess almost wrapped up. Waiting on the tanks from Powder Coat. And one thing I want to cover, because we don't really ever talk about these that much, is the C8. Fuzz is going to be mad I'm talking about it. I don't really know much about it, so right. But, uh, yeah, this is just uh, another C8 we had come in for some a little lowering kit, spacers, you know, just some minor stuff. But, uh, yeah, don't forget, y'all, we work on these, too. We work on these, too, so, um, yeah. But that's where we're at right now. Um, I'll probably fire this camera back up when we got something ready to start. So, we got another car in from a... Yeah, for from the essentials. A, yeah, we got another car in that got the essentials. This time we need it. Heat exchanger. So, this car is claimed to make... 800 or something. 850 on 90, or 800 on 93. something. So, I don't know. Something seems a little fishy with the set. Not, I'm not calling the owner a liar, but I'm saying whoever told him, it just seems fishy. Yeah, something seems fishy there. So, we didn't do anything to make it make more power. We just... Cooling mods and what? Just, a re up just gonna be there retune, yeah. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, you know, y'all heard it there. I mean, it's a stick car, so I mean, I guess it would make. A yeah, more it should power, be a little but, bit happier. But, but still, it just don't make sense for the mods. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Just like that. Just Went like from that. hot mess to looking halfway decent there, bud. I think my plan worked out all right with the mock-up. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Still ain't done, but yeah, we gotta get the intake on there. And yeah, it, these belts you gotta make them so tight that it really just helps have as much space as possible because you gotta like roll the motor mm -hmm. while you're working the tensioner, and it just makes it easier just to have the throttle body off yeah. and the intake out of the way. But that's so, really that's yeah. all that's missing from the engine bay right now. Right. So yeah, it's pretty easy to slip off the crank bolt and smash shit with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, or, they, or you try and release the tensioner and they get stuck on the throttle body yeah, or something. It's not something, fun. Yeah, it's nice to not delete the whole piece because it keeps the car nice and tidy. But uh, yeah, everything's tough. You barely see the meth line. Super clean. Yep. You barely see that. Meth lines just get clamped up real nice. Everything tucked up real slick. Looks good, bud. Mm -hmm. Looks good. And so. it's nice he uh, went with the cooks with the factory connectors, so you don't have to mess with none of the rest of the exhaust. All the rest of the exhaust is factory. Yep. Yep. Those look good. Yeah. Really, you can't tell anything underneath this thing if you weren't. Yeah. You just think no. it's a you know, bolt on car or something. Yeah, it's super clean. Everything nice and tidy, bud. This is what she looks like, yep. all buttoned up. Yep. All buttoned up. Looks good. I'm gonna give you all a little bit a little bit more of the close-ups. You know. Catch can turned out nice.
stock exhaust, make it nice and quiet again. Pops. They probably got the best like factory active exhaust. Like I used to, I came from a Ford dealer, and I feel like every Mustang I dealt with that had active, it never worked right. Like you could, you can go through and flip the switch, it wouldn't work. It would never start and open. It wouldn't start and close. It's vice versa. But there's, it, it seems to work all right. Yeah. Made it to the dyno. Mm -hmm. Big dog just came, landed. Eight o'clock tonight. And he'll be back gone tomorrow morning. Yeah, he's flying out tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, we gotta. We just wanted to cover the fact that. Uh, we're in the club right now. Yeah, this is the VIP yeah we got the strobe rolling. So uh, forgive us now, because uh, <laughs> you'll see we, it in we, the video. We got a bunch of new lights in the shop. Literally the day after this thing starts flickering. So I just feel like it's extra dark over here, Dan. We haven't been on the hub in a minute, so like. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Tornado warning! Take shelter now. What in the hell? I'm gonna go look at this tornado. We know the difference between a warning and a watch, right? A warning means they've seen a tornado and they confirmed it. A watch just means keep an eye. They up. said it's pretty calm out here. Oh, it's raining halfway decent. Yeah, sorry about that. I got the Honda cooling off, head gasket blown. So that's next in the shop. Everything, every day I drive here, I have to uh, gallon of coolant, gallon of coolant, and relieve the completely <laughs> pressurized coolant system. <laughs> you get the alert on your phone, yeah? Yeah. Oh, now you got it. Oh man, we're going down. We're going down. There was a tornado that happened like 40 minutes ago. You didn't see it? Uh uh. -uh. Tonight, the number of confirmed tornadoes is up to five. The tornado outbreak in Maryland, about 17 reports. It might look like Tornado Alley, but this is Maryland. Oh my gosh. Miles away in Harford County, flooding gave way to close calls. Abingdon neighborhood saw these dangerous floodwaters. Moments of severe weather like Wednesday night can mean life or death. Oh, well, we're going down. Better, We're going down. Fresh off the plane. Dude, yeah, I flew in. I got here 30 minutes ago. I've been gone this week. It's 9.02 right now, and my mother just called me and said there's a tornado in Lansdowne heading towards us. I was like, all right, I gotta hurry up and get it done. And she's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I gotta get back on a plane tomorrow morning to go back down there. I just came here to tune this thing. I wanted to be here in person, but I flew in real quick. I'm gonna stay the night and go back down south. But, uh, so yeah, it's been eventful so far this evening. Yeah. Yeah. It's 2650 cam, 945 lower stock stock offer that comes with it. Um, my mom's calling me now. Oh, we're in trouble. Hey, is it is it actually a tornado? Really? Huh. All right. Let's stop panicking. <laughs> so it's in Baltimore City, and there's a tornado literally right now, and and we're in the city, so. I don't know where it's at. I don't hear nothing. If we it's hear real stuff, quiet it's here right quiet. now. It's actually. real quiet right now. It's never this quiet here. So it might have a tornado going on. I don't know. Uh, I try. To, you can't see nothing because no, one, can't. there's so much in right now. And let me tell you, if we if we have a tornado, we'll just get next the there and go through that thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. But anyways, I was in the middle of talking. It's stock heads and stuff. I think this thing's gonna make about. 2050, I think it'll probably make about 880. 80. It's not pulling hard at all. So right. I don't know. I think the last 900. What do you think? I'm saying 9. 887. I'm saying 910. I'm gonna be on the 910. I'm 900. We're talking about final numbers, right? Yeah. Okay. E50. 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 Um, all right. I don't hear nothing. I heard a little thunder, but but you won't hear it until it's close. I don't know, man. All right. Well, hold on. I here. can't believe my plane did. Dude, I was shocked. It was a rough landing. I was shocked, dude. I, I just finished my bowling match, dude. I think, I think the last one we did only made 12 pounds as exact pulley setup, so we'll see. Yeah, but that was a bigger motor. Bigger so. motor, so yeah, I guess. Let's we'll see. Bridge. All right, let's make the pulls before we get to lose power. Okay. <laughs>
first three pools. Sitting still, no fan. I made teams 130 to 140. Well, 416, this one's a stock load. She's making power, yeah? She's making power. Oh, 16, 16 and a half, probably. Probably like an average of 15 through the whole run. 3200 at 146, and then at 6700 at 143. Right. It's pretty good. Yeah, the, the, the fact that it goes down as you pull. And that's yeah, what the fan is. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, honestly, y'all, the fan makes a huge difference. You gotta think there's no it's fan. Without the fan, there's really no air blowing through the heat exchanger that much. You know, as if you if you were pulling like this on the street, you're gonna have air moving through that sucker. Mm -hmm. So, to be able to run 144 is pretty good. I mean, shit, we see cars with you it's know. right at E50. So. Right at E50. Their legs, some yeah. okay, so 7100 maybe power 7100 934. What are the MATs? Gotta show them What's right that now. Noise? What's that noise? The fan bearings on this? No, no, yeah, they're slowing down. Oh, yeah, that, that, that one fan's fucked up. I forgot about that. Um, 131, 131. No at ice be, at the beginning of the pool, is 134. Yeah. Dropped, what, four degrees? Uh, yeah, it didn't degrees. gain nothing. Didn't gain shit. Yeah, so 130, no ice. Fan on. It's not bad. Make the torque for the hub. Yeah, so look, you know, I gotta make this, we gotta make this point. Okay, that's your. I hate to be that guy, but I'll I'm wearing the, my I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the bad, yeah, look at you dual wielding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be, the, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the antagonist right okay, now. Okay, let's hear it. So, uh, let's, go. let's talk about Mason's car there, bud. Okay. We just did Mason's car. <clears throat> and, uh, it made very similar power, almost the exact same power. I think it did make the exact same power. Let me pull it up. I'll pull it up and compare it. Compare yeah, So, ball. we did... Stock blower. I love the stock blower life, we all know. Yep, yep. You know how I am. Yep. <clears throat> this guy wanted a 2650. You know, it's fine. Exactly. I, I think, he, you know, if he, if he, in case he ever upgraded down the road a little bit. Yeah, because he's what? This not... What, so give me the give me the motor rundown, because I forget. This is uh, a stock, stock bottom end. Stock bottom end, stock heads, no, not even, there's no heads on it. Just a cam? So similar to how Mason's was set up. Very similar. So let's compare this one to Mason's. Um, Show them why we do what we do. His stock blower boy fucking thing carries nice through the middle. Real good. So blue is uh, Mason's Z01, the blue one that we just did. Red is kind of... I mean, the air fuels are fucking damn fucking close. Hold on, let me get the air fuels in there. Yep, 12.5, 12.4. Yep, they're within a... Uh, that's Mason's a little weaker, but they ain't fucking shit talking about. Yeah. This one's lower on boost, though, I will say. Mason's made 19. This one made 16. Right. If you look over here, so I mean, yeah, you're comparing app. If you made 19 on the mag, you're probably gonna make more. Exactly. Not much, but it's gonna make more. So, 
but I like stock blowers. I mean, he's, it's hard to beat them for like 1800 hours for a port job, you know? Yeah. yeah, for sure. So this is got way more potential to make more, but yeah, that's one I'll thing. I'll be hundred yeah. percent honest with you, dude. If I, if I had to say like Greg's car, for example, his is a max effort deal that we did. I mean, now that we know a couple of things, I think we can make more of the different motor, but anyways, at the time, you know, he made 1380 or something on a 2650. If we put a hogged out 2300 on that thing, which is the stock CR1 blower, I think we'll be within 150 horsepower. Right. Um, I don't think the 2650 makes all that much what everyone thinks it makes, you know. Yeah. From my experience, um, my car makes a little over 1100 with a 17. Right. If I put the 2650 on it, I'll probably make another 200 maybe. But. You know, I'm a one seven, not yeah. a you know. So I mean, <clears throat> you do uh, spin these slower. You know, this thing isn't nearly as fun as a stock blower would be. So they say it's cooler. It's not cooler. I don't care what anyone says. Everyone says it's cooler. I'm literally seeing the MATs right now, and they're identical to a stock blower car. Yeah. So and on a stock blower car, we're in the 140s on the dyno. Dyno for dyno. It's yeah, 140 is That's just what they like, are. Yeah. So if anyone says that these things run cooler, it's bullshit. You know, maybe compared to my car, yeah, because mine's a little, a little yeah, excessive. We're, we're but, leaning on that. Uh, but for a thousand horsepower, for a thousand horsepower, oh, it takes more power to turn these things yeah. than a stock blower. So exactly. people don't realize that. It's still fine. Oh, it's great. You know? I mean, this has potential to make them more. Yeah, you know? exactly. So. so say he came back, did a built motor, and did suspension, and did like a 15-inch conversion. I mean, he could have a, a demon on his hands. Yeah, sure. I mean, this is, this is a badass setup. I mean, I'm not, I don't dislike 2650s. I like them a lot. It's just the power for the money, you're not like for seven thousand dollars or whatever these things cost you're gaining a little bit it's nothing crazy so if people come in here and they think they're going to gain a ton by switching to one it's not yeah. it's not going to happen yeah so yes they make more but seven thousand dollars worth i mean i'm spending seven grand on that green car like nothing you know like yeah i'm not putting the blower i'm spending seven grand on dumb shit to yeah. try to get it to go faster but so yeah, I spend seven thousand for like a fucking water sometimes. It's yeah. fucking stupid, but especially a stock blower is a great budget thing, you know. The yeah. porting has just came such a long way. Yeah. I mean, if you compare this to a stock unported blower, I mean, it's fucking light years ahead mm -hmm. of an unported stock blower. Right. A couple hundred easily. You yeah. know, this thing probably wouldn't make crack eight hundred. Probably make seven fifty right. on an unported blower. Right. So. That just the portings really came a long way, and that's what makes the stock blower shine. Right. So you can port these too, but to port these, you really need a good motor. Like these things are not going to pick up by porting them, spinning it this slow. Yeah. It's not going to gain one horsepower. It'd be a complete waste of money. Unport it to unport it. Yes, this is worth seven thousand dollars if porting wasn't a thing. Right. Now the porting is, is just really came a long way, so the stock blower shines. Yeah. but especially with the stock motor stuff you know what i mean but the 2650 is a better look in my opinion as well over a stock blower yeah so. she does look good in there mm -hmm. me and kyle were talking about that it looks OEM, really but it, it, it just looks better than a factory blower less room which you know working on it sucks but it looks yeah. good that's with everything though <laughs> yeah just finished up washing can mm -hmm. back off the dyno yeah just gonna show you all the finished product it's the trunk meth tank Turned out super clean, super low key for what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, that turned out sweet. Got it all cleaned up. This red hits. Yep. Yeah. Ken's about ready to go home. Just gonna throw it up on the lift, double check everything. Yeah, so my man. Already test drove it, put like 30 miles on it. Yeah, make sure so, everything's good. And, you know, do that once, one last go over, make sure everything's yeah. alright. But uh, yeah, it turned out sweet, man. I'm sick. Super clean. Super low key. Honestly, He's super happy with it. We've been updating. You them. shut the hood in the trunk, man. You wouldn't know nothing about nothing when I'm this thing. I am yeah. gonna shut the trunk because dumb back here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it looks like a stock car still. I mean, maybe mean? if you saw the tire, I mean, it's a step up from stock. Yeah, but it ain't but like an ETC for ours. Well, you know, this thing needs a 15 inch conversion at this point. Yeah, so, you know. Well, 
doesn't need doesn't it. Need but it but if you want to go to the track, and seventeen run the number, at least. That's what it's going to take. You know what I mean? That's it, y'all. Once we get out in the sun, I'll probably get a couple more clips, maybe a little, little uh, pictures. You know, something. But as far as the build goes, she's done. Yeah, man. Good job. Mm -hmm.